Hey there, Parkview Panthers. Miss Tracy here. We're going to read Art Dog. Arthur Dog was a guard at the Dog Opulus Museum of Art. He liked his job. He liked guarding the paint paintings by Vincent Van Dog and Pablo Poodle. But Leonardo Dog Vinci was Arthur's favorite painter. Or was it Henry Matisse? Arthur couldn't decide. At night, Arthur came home to his little apartment on West 17th Street, made himself dinner, and read until it was time for bed. Arthur led a quiet life. He seldom went out, except on nights when the moon was full. On those nights, Arthur's eyes grew bright and his fur seemed to glisten. He would take out a box he kept in his closet, put on a hat and mask, and tiptoe down the back stairs into the streets of Dogopolis. He crept down an alley, and when he was sure no one was around, he unlocked the box and took out paints and brushes. He painted a splash of lightning, a splash of sunshine, and dozens of glowing lights in the night. He painted monsters ten feet tall, fish with tails the size of houses, frogs ready to hop over skyscrapers. When he was finished, he crept home, a dog alone, wondering if anyone ever noticed his paintings. No one saw him paint or sign his paintings with a splat of his tail and the name Art Dog. No one knew who Art Dog really was until one night at the museum. Crash! A window was broken. A door was busted. Bring! The alarm went off and footsteps clattered down the alley behind the museum. The police screeched to the scene of the crime. The director of the museum was not far behind. Yikes, the Mona Woofa's gone, cried the museum director. Look what they left instead of a Leonardo Dog Vinci. Is this art? Looks like a Mona Lulu to me, cried the chief of police. The paint's still wet, said the museum director. Find me the culprit, barked the chief of police. They nabbed the first dog they found in the alley. His eyes had a certain glow to them, and his fur seemed to glisten in the moonlight. He also had a paintbrush in his paw. Book him, said the chief of police. They threw him in jail. But when no one was looking, he pulled out a brush and a tube of paint, and he painted a ladder. He climbed up the ladder, and where there were bars, he painted a window and jumped out. Back into the streets of Dogopolis. Then he put his nose in the air. What was he sniffing? Suddenly, he took out his brush and his paints. Zip, splash, smoosh! He painted himself a brush mobile with his name on the side. He whizzed over to the Acme Paint Factory to fill up his tank. Then off he roared into the night, over highways and bridges, through the park and past the ballet, leaving a trail of paint behind him as he went. He slammed on the brakes in front of a deserted warehouse. He sniffed. He tiptoed. He looked inside. The three nasty-looking mutts were getting ready to ship something to a distant port. He took a closer look. It was the Mona! Yikes! The mutts turned around. Hey, what are you doing here? Said the biggest mutt. Gosh, I, um, I must have made a wrong turn, said Art Dog. You can say that again, said the mutts. It looked like big trouble for Art Dog. There was only one thing left to do. Paint! What a masterpiece! Wow, said the chief of police as he arrived with the museum director. How did you know where the Mona was? Art Dog wiggled his nose. I can smell art a mile away. The director of the museum said, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Art Dog, said Art Dog, pointing to his brush mobile. Art Dog, I like the way you paint. How about a show at the museum? Sure thing, said Art Dog as he sped away in his brush mobile. Soon it was the night for Art Dog's show at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. Everyone stood around and stipped root beer as they waited to meet Art Dog and to see his paintings. But where was he? Where were his paintings? And for that matter, wondered the museum director, where's Arthur? He should be on the job tonight. And suddenly there was a sound. Everyone rushed outside just in time to see Art Dog high in the sky, finishing his masterpiece, City Rhapsody. Everyone was amazed and speechless. Then suddenly, he was gone. Who was Art Dog? 
Who was this painter in a brushmobile, catcher of crooks, bringer of light to the Dogopolis night?